Hey guys, um, it's been quite a few months, I think about four or five now since I've done one of these videos. Um, plethora of reasons, one, moving location, all of my records, well, I'd say about 80% of my records are still in um, the city I previously lived and some have made it over now. So um, I'm working with what I've got here. I'm actually gonna be going back to pick some stuff up in a few weeks. So I'm gonna film another video there just for ease of, um, just for my own convenience, really. Um, I had a lot of busy stuff going on, a lot of projects. Got the new issue of Shrieks from the Abysses out. Um, Sataniac, a new project, is recording our first demo, which is going to be really cool. Um, very excited about that one. You know, been usual, going to a lot of shows, listening to records. Same old me, but yeah, I've been focusing a bit more on writing. And also due to some uh, audio issues that you probably noticed on the Best of 2023 video. I just kind of, I, I was a bit lazy about setting up new stuff, but um, thankfully my girlfriend's a sound engineer, so I um, have a really expensive mic right next to me, which hopefully sounds good, and if it doesn't, um, kick off at her in the comments. Uh, no, I, I, I'm just being a knob. But anyway, more importantly than all of my bullshit, we are back with 10 heavy metal bands you haven't heard but should, or maybe have heard if you're a real underground maniac. Um, I'm going to film this, another Relic Razor with old, more old school stuff, and then another episode of this back in Norwich in a few weeks. So it's going to be a busy month YouTube-wise, and hopefully, you know, I, I've, I've missed doing these videos. I've just been focusing on other things, but hopefully this is going to kick me back into a rhythm with it. And um, thanks for sticking around if, you, if you're an old subscriber or whatever, or if you're a new newcomer, you know, be ready for some good, good records. So first we have a UK band. We have Slime Lord from, uh, I want to say like the Yorkshire area, but I, they're from, you know, I'm not from up north. They're from somewhere up north. Um, this is their debut full length album. They've had some really good EPs. Um, I remember seeing them open for Tomb Mold like years ago and thinking, you know, these guys are solid. And now they've come full circle and signed with 20 bucks spin. Here's the color variant. Don't worry, it's in the sleeve. I'm not touching the grooves like a complete, you know, feral creature. But yeah, um, amazing Bradmore artwork. Um, you know, this is the complete package there. They're a bit more than just Death Doom, which one might have suspected from the name. They've got a very interesting sound. Um, the guys are in Cryptic Shift, so they're, you know, very able technical musicians with a lot of theory behind them. And that shows, but, you know, it's their more primitive, atmospheric, doomy, death metal project, and I really love it. Um, for, me, for me, it's the one I prefer of the two personally. Um, and yeah, it's a really good uh, debut album. It's exactly what I'd hoped it would be. Now we have some German heavy metal from The Night Eternal. They've actually got a second album out now, which is also really killer. But for me, this debut, The Moonlit Cross is, um, or just called Moonlit Cross, there's not a the in there. That was on 20 bucks spin, by the way. And this is on Van Records. I'm still trying to remember how to make a fucking YouTube video, it seems. Um, this album is just really haunting, you know, occult themed heavy metal. It's got a very kind of dark spirit to it. Um, much like na uh, their label mates Attic, who have also just dropped the most amazing third album, also on Van Records, so extra recommendation. I've talked about those guys a few years back. But yeah, The Night Eternal, this album has just so many great hooks. The riffs are killer, the drums sound huge. And for me, most of all, the vocals are just so powerful and uh, just potent and really something special i love both albums and yeah I, I really recommend these guys if you know if you like a bit more of a gothic dark flair to your heavy metal now another uk band which is rare for me to have so much uk stuff in one video but we have inconcessus lux lucis these guys also play in deatus and have this band has just really uh, announced sorry their second album and i love this um you know it's very much first wave black metal with a lot of just heavy metal and just killer grooves, very much bathery, but you know, with some very motorheady bits, some very venom bits, some very bulldozer bits. It's just really killer. Um, a lot of the UK black metal scene seems to focus more towards like Norwegian, Finnish, Swedish kind of black metal, and my preference lies more with bands like um, Niflheim, who I guess you know they are Swedish, but a bit more kind of first wave sounding. I really love that kind of feel. And they, this is just a riff fest. Like if you like riffy black metal, they, this is the the uk band i think my favorite uk black metal band and they rule live as well um on a side note next something that's not british but probably feels more british than anything else in this video we have drifter they're seven inch um they also had a really good demo tape which i do have as well but i'm just showing the seven inch this is the new release and it was also the closest to me and i'm lazy 
This is Beggar's Ransom. It's two brand new songs on Dying Victims Productions. It's just amazing new wave of British heavy metal inspired stuff. You know, it feels like, you know, it looks and sounds production wise. Everything just feels like something you dig out of the back of a crate in the early 80s, you know, here in London or something. Um, they're one Australian guy and one American guy based in the United States. I'm really excited to see them. They got announced for Keep It True next year. And yeah, they just, they have such a mystical and just classic feel to their songs you know if you like bands like sanctuary and stuff these guys really deliver the goods next we venture to south america from chile we have a serial Letal, who i just saw um literally last weekend to keep it true this is their new ep it's, you know it's almost like a short album it's eight songs 25 minutes um legiones or legion however I, I don't do spanish i'm sorry everyone um <clears throat> but this is just balls to the wall heavy metal by people who love heavy metal, for people who love heavy metal. If you have a flying V in your logo, the chances are I'm going to really like your band. And, you know, after a, a few years of existence and some great demos and EPs, this um, really feels like the band have set the bar even higher. Um, this one's on uh, Witch's Brew. There is also a vinyl version and a cassette version, but this is, you know, this is what was available at Keep It True. So I bought this and uh, Witch's Brew rules. Um, shout out to Cheryl if you're watching, but... Um, and Marco, of course. And um, yeah, I, you know, I'll probably grab the tape and or vinyl at a later point. But yeah, I, I really like CDs too. So yeah, you know, if, if you like South American heavy metal, you know what you're getting. Just passion straight from the guts and it rules. Next, we have some death metal from Phobophilic. Um, this is an interesting band. They come from the States, but they have probably more resemblance to Finnish death metal bands like Adramalek and Demolich and uh, those sorts of bands. This one is on Prosthetic Records. I saw these guys uh, last summer with Ossuary, another really cool band. And um, yeah, just really interesting riffs, really solid, tight death metal. Um, I think it's a style of old school death metal that, you know, uh, not that many bands do compared to maybe the Swedish sound or Death Doom. And the ones that do maybe one in 10 pull it off well and Phobophilic and that one in 10. This is an enveloping absurdity and it's a re really kind of angular, cool death metal release. This next one you might rec uh, remember, I, my English is just, never mind, um, from my best of the year video is uh, Meurtrier with their album uh, Ronde de Nuit, I think, um, I'm not French, sorry everyone, um, on Gates of Hell Records. This is, oh fuck, I need a new jewel case for this, which is a problem we will talk more about very, very shortly. Um, this is just really good mystical French heavy metal. If you like Chevalier, I think this is exactly that ballpark. I love it. Um, it's just got such an amazing and like enchanting feel to it. I really love this one. Um, Gates of Hell just seems to power some of the best cult gems for me. Um, next up, we have Sequestrum, the epitome of putridity, featuring members from um, Undergang, of course, Chaosian, I believe the Inquisitor. Um, Basically, a lot of very talented Danish people is involved in this, which is some kind of grindy, carcass-loving death metal. You know, I'm not big on grindcore, but when it's um, more of the death metal end of grindcore rather than the chaotic side of grindcore, I like it. And um, this is more. This is definitely a death metal tape as much as it is a grindcore one for me. Um, this is on David's own Extremely Rotten Productions. Uh, they've got two EPs and a now a split with a snap from the Czech Republic. Really cool band. Everything they've put out is just fucking grotesque. And uh, yeah, you, you death metal maniacs are going to love that one. Now we have uh, a couple last releases. I need to get some jewel cases in London again. Most of my stuff is back in Norwich. And um, I'm just a little bit unprepared. So obviously if you buy these, these come in a jewel case. Um, that's just not how they're sent to me. Thank you to Sure Shot Works for sending me these. As well as the uh, Matrier one that I mentioned a minute ago. And um, yeah, I will get jewel cases. I've just been a bit slack. So I, I do apologize for it looking a bit rough. But anyway, let's talk about heavy metal. We have March to Die, some really killer, epic heavy metal. Uh, you know, um, No Remorse Records really delivers the goods. We have a nice uh, lyric booklet, of course, a cool band photo. If you like your Man of War, your Eternal Champion, your Manila Road, your Sirathungle, these kinds of just very epic bands, this kind of um, Greek theme with the uh, Gorgon. I mean, the album's called Tears of the Gorgon. You know you know what you're going to get with this one. It's really just fist-pounding heavy metal. And if you love that, you'll love this. If you don't, never mind. Um, but yeah, March Did I, really cool one. New band to me when I got sent this one. And finally, 
in Kulta, some Norwegian Black Thrash. Of course, Norway has some of the best Black Thrash ever. Um, Death Hammer, Condor, Evoke, Toxic Death, Necromantheon. Like, for me, Norwegian Thrash surpasses Norwegian Black Metal. And uh, in Kulta, these ones are maybe a little bit less raw and blackened and a bit more tight and thrashy, but they've still got some evilness to it, still got some grit. And this new album, Morbid Origin, is really just a ferocious riff fest. Um, Showing that Norwegians thrash and always have and always will. And yeah, really cool album from Inculta. So yeah, that would be 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. Or, you know, if you have, then um, you're a real maniac. Congratulations. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Again, apologies that it's been so long. And hopefully I'll be a bit more consistent. You know, always prioritize um, writing, you know, the fanzine and webzine as well as my own bands and just being a fan, going to shows, listening to records. YouTube is very much something I just do because I love talking about heavy metal records and as such, sometimes it takes a backseat to real life, but you know, I'll, I'll always keep coming back to it, I'm sure. And um, those of you who bear with me and still dig the channel, I appreciate all of you. And until next time, stay metal.